welcome to Abhipedia QChat 2016's mains question answer discussion. Today we will be taking up the questions on social issues which has appeared in the recent mains examination. The question right now is to what extent the globalization has influenced the core of cultural diversity in India. Explain. We have Mr. Barak with us. He is an expert on social issues. So he will be explaining the answer. Please sir, what is so, your take? Sir, uh, before answering this question, okay. we need to understand it that this question is focusing on the core, you know, core elements of cultural diversity of India. Okay. So first and foremost, we have to think that we have to identify which are the core components of uh, cultural diversity. True. For example, uh, to my mind, three things are coming. For okay. example, the religious diversity in India. Okay. Secondly, the caste diversity in India, okay. and thirdly, the linguistic diversity in India. Okay. So can the, we maybe add the values component? Yes. Yes. Also? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The value system of India can be also uh, can is also uh, this uh, core part of cultural diversity of India. Okay. So, in entirety we have four things. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now we have to, in this question, we have to make, we have to write at least 30 or 40 words okay. uh, showing that these elements okay. are being impacted by globalization. Okay. These four things on globalization. Okay. And secondly, as the question is asking, to what extent mm -hmm. uh, it has impacted. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the question, uh, your answer, we have to also show that mm -hmm. these are the area in which the impact is not that much okay. as compared to others. Okay. So kind of degree has yes, to be elaborated. Yes, fine, yes, fine, yes, fine, yes. Fine. Okay. For example, uh, if you will, if, if you will take the, uh, this impact of globalization on linguistic diversity, we okay. can say that with the coming of this, uh, you know, uh, uh, the MNCs in India mm. and a lot of migration uh, Indians going abroad, the mm. diaspora mm. Uh, we have seen. Western education. Yes, Western education uh, is, is there. Yeah. So, in this scenario, not only English and Hindi is getting popularized, mm. though Hindi was there, but yeah. English also got popularized yeah. because thanks to col colonial rule. Yeah. But but because of this globalization, a lot of migration and all that, other languages like French, mm. German, and other mm. languages also are getting uh, popularized. Yeah. So, we can see that we can say that the the linguistic diversity of India is getting more diverse. Okay. Not only in form of uh, tribal languages, okay. not only in form of English or Hindi or any other regional language, but also for some international languages coming to India. Okay. So, for example, our Bollywood cinema is being promoted in yes, the international yes, yes, grounds, yes. and their cinema is cinema. Yes, yes, yes. We can also okay. say that that is also enrichment of a culture. Yeah. Ah. Okay. And uh, if we now take the example of the uh, value system. Value system. Yeah. Yes. So what? For example, the impact of globalization on value system. Mm. So because of you know because of coming of satellite televisions and a mm. lot of uh, Western channels in India mm. and a lot of people going there and coming back, we can say that there is a certain import and export of values over there. Mm. For example, India is known for you know community thinking. Okay. We think in groups. Okay. But we are not. We do. We, we uh, as a society we used to give less emphasis on individualism. Okay. But because because of the media impact and because of new value system, mm. mostly in urban areas, mm. the families and youths they are also thinking in terms of individual, okay. individual lifestyle, individual professionalism, and all that. Okay. So we can say that because of uh, globalization, mm. our value system has changed to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. But uh, having said that, we can mm. also say that the feeling of family, the mm. the value of family, the value of marriage is still in, in, intact. Mm. So we can say that there is a universalization of traditional value yes. and traditionalization of universal ah, you can, values. We can say that. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, apart from this, sir, what would you like to add? For example, we have taken up language uh -huh. and value. Values. For example, religion. Uh, let's say. Uh, for let's uh, let's suppose religion. Uh -huh. So uh, if we have to see the impact of uh, this uh, globalization on religion, mm. first we have to see that what religion is made up of. Okay. Right. So in religion we have certain values as well. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we have some rituals. Mm. So, in entirety, we cannot say, as the question is asking to what extent, mm -hmm. so we can write over there, like, for example, the, the, the degree and the kind of impact mm -hmm. we are having mm -hmm. on language as well as on value system, to, to that extent, we are not having same degree or same kind of changes in religion. In religion. Yes. Okay. Because, because India being a, a religious society, secondly, we also use religion in politics. Okay. So, because of this thing. Uh -huh. There are some, there, there, uh, the changes are less as compared to language as well as in value system. Because if you change religion, your mm -hmm. values and otherwise your would be eroded. And eroded. secondly, the the politics uh, India is having, yeah. we also um, uh, use religion in our mm -hmm. vote banks. Mm -hmm. So to that extent, religion is still strong, not uh, eroded. Okay, not very uh, flexible yes, to the yes. globalization yes. process. Okay, I think that should conclude it. Thank yes, you. Yes.
Thank you.